guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are out in the Wargo Nature Center. Got the whole Tired Axe crew with us little guy over there. So we're doing this really cool thing. We found a app, it's called Goose Chase. And essentially what it is, is it creates scavenger hunts in your local area. So you can download the app, it gives you missions and uh, goals to achieve, and then you earn points. So some of this stuff you, you'll see in the video here, but you have to take photos with certain objects that you find, or you have to do certain things within the park. So um, the app does a lot of stuff for, for team building, for companies and that, but they also do a lot of stuff for nature. So that's what we're all about. So that's what we're gonna get after today. So I I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. JC, we found something. We needed to find home sweet home. Take a photo of an animal's home, birdhouse, burrow, nest, etc. Did you find a house? Yeah, way over there. How about a house closer to us that you already <laughs> pointed out? No. Look at the Look bird's at the nest bird right house. there. Okay, Colton, do you want to So there's actually the two bird's nests. There's one above and one below. Okay, Colton which is, pretty cool. is taking photographic evidence. Yeah. Photographic evidence. Can I break this? A good no. angle to see it. There, there we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Nice. One mission down. Submit evidence. How many points did we get? 300. 300 points. Sweetness. All right. So we found another mission. Yay. Yeah. What, does he have a name? It just says, who is there? Take a selfie or picture of team members. That is us. Yeah, that's us. With the owl enclosure at Wargo Nature Center. All right, cool. Let's not cross the fence. I think that's very important rules. Yeah, let's not cross the let's fence. See. So let's step over here. The owl may not be visible where she's sitting, but we found her. Yeah, she's right back there so you guys can see her. Oh, she's so pretty. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Smile. We got to get the picture for the right. evidence. <laughs> there right. we go. All right. About as good as you can get with a four-year-old, right? Another 300. All right, Chase. Yeah. Points. So we got 600 points total. Yep. Come on, boys. That's going to be quite difficult. Just don't slip and fall. <laughs> All, right. All right, go stand next to Colts in there, Chase. All right, so you guys are going to jump like for that, joy. Right? This is 300. Like this, right? There you go. There you go, okay. That's enough for me. <laughs> Seconds. Chase, what'd you find? I found a stick. What are you gonna do with it? Throw it down there. You go throw it in the woods? Alright, come on, let's go throw it in the woods. I'll follow you. I'm gonna do it from that and this. Do it from the from the trail here. Alright, see how far you can throw it. Okay. Oh, nice throw. High five, dude. It's Chase, really high five. Boom. All righty. This is definitely someone's home, right? This is definitely all right so right now we are actually at wargo nature center but this is the rice creek uh, water trail map so it's got uh, quite a few different lakes here all through the whole area and lots of trails so this is somewhere that uh, we haven't checked out a whole lot in the past but we're going to be this coming season so this is cool look at it talks all about this lake Oh, it's a marsh lake. Don't you see my my that says furnace, mommy? That it's actually technically a pond. Good question for you. Why is George Watch Lake, that's this lake, why is it really a pond? I don't know. I don't know anything about the lake. Well, now you're going to learn because sunlight reaches the bottom throughout.
This is really pretty up here. Isn't that cool? Yeah. When the wind hit it. This is a pretty neat park, huh, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Very close to home, too. Yes. We've actually fished a couple of these lakes in the past. I didn't uh, realize it was part of this preserve, though. Uh, let's see. One of the ones we can do, follow the tracks or make your own. Take a video or a photo of yourself or a team member snowshoeing through the park or take a photo of a team member stepping in the snowshoe track. If snowshoeing is no longer available, you can complete this mission by submitting a video of a team member walking or running around the perimeter of the nature nature play area at the Wargo Nature Center, which is right over there. All right. So we so. can go do that. Chase, you want to walk around the nature area? Let's head up that way. What'd you find, dude? This. What is it? It's, it, it's a, it's a tent. It's a tent. It's a teepee. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? I'm on this side of it, and this is my house. Nice. Can I come in? Yeah. All right, let's go. We got some bark here. A little bark. This is pretty nice. It's yeah, very spacious. So we can make a fire. Yeah, you would make a fire, and they're actually right up above us here, in the top of the teepee, you would make an opening up there. And that's where the smoke would go out, so you could stay warm in the winter, huh? All right, let's move on to the next spot. Check this out, guys. Look what we found. So we got a maple syrup tap with a ton of syrup. Look at that. That is ready to go. Got another one right up the hill here. Chase, come check this out. Just get past you. Yep. Hi. This is your mushroom. Look at this thing, Chase. It's a maple. So what they do is they put there's a tap that goes into the tree. Come up here and I'll show you. Come on up. Mud. So look back here, okay? There's a tap and that they nail that right into the tree, right back there. And then that is your cover, and then that goes into your, your bag. And that's how they make maple syrup for your pancakes, dude. Yeah. Cool, huh? All right, so we found the visitor center, which unfortunately is closed due to uh, everybody's favorite pandemic. Or maybe it's just closed hours. That could be too. So we're just gonna cruise up here. We'll go ahead and check in so we get our our points for this mission. All right, so check in. The choir location. All right, come on, cell service. Really there it is. Chase, I found a duck. Right. Submit evidence. Chase, right. look, look up in the window, Sweet. there's a duck. Yeah, we got it, right? We got it. Cool. Right. Take a video of yourself, not me, or a team member <laughs> going down the slide into the nature play area. So Colton, Chase. Right here. You should probably go. Let me get a video. Wait one second. So here's the nature or the nature play area back here. And here is our slide. We are currently ranked at fifth oh. place, guys. Sixth place? All right. Fifth. Fifth. fifth place, even better. Top five. Minnow scoop. Minnow scoop. Found a minnow scoop. Those are everywhere in Minnesota. Yeah. All right, so we just checked in in the nature play area. And uh, if you guys haven't explored one of these in your area, I mean, they're everywhere. Most of your regional parks or city parks now have some sort of like a nature play area for the kids. So it's a great way for them to get out. Even if you're in the city or you live in an apartment, uh, whatever the case is, they can get out and, uh, you know, get their hands dirty, build some forts. They've got, you know, natural obstacles to play on. So make sure you check that out. Just, you know, get on Google and just Google, you know, nature play area. Um, I know, you know, in the Twin cities metro there's a lot of those in this area so i'm sure in your area there's some too so check Plus, that out there's no slides for them to fall off of. yeah that's true yeah so yeah, <laughs> if you don't want your kiddos to get hurt this is a pretty safe place i mean yeah. there's nothing you know super high or, or anything like that so um and even there's more imagination use 
I think that's why we right. like him more. Yeah, exactly. It lets yeah. them kind of, you know, explore as kids and use their creativity and not have uh, their fun spoon fed to them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which is okay sometimes, but not all the time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to check this place out. Okay, so what we need to do is put some of our, here, put this in there, okay? Let's see if we can get them to balance out. Not quite. Almost. Try that one. Nope, not quite. <laughs> it just keeps settling it. Keep adding weight, buddy. I think it's... Oh, Tracy, look at it. It's almost balanced. <gasps> look how close we are. Can Add a little bit. One more. A smaller one? Uh-oh. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see this. You got to try to get it to balance in the middle. Well, let's just call that good. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty close. <laughs> You've left me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, we got some chalkboards over here. Some water tables. Obviously, right now everything is frozen and full of snow, but we are getting oh so close to spring. And then this will be a whole different environment. We'll have to bring you guys back here uh, in in like June or July when it's nice out. Pies. All right, let's make some mud pies. Mud pie muffins are these? Uh, strawberry. Strawberry. Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate strawberry. Check out your mud pie now. What'd you got, dude? Heck yeah, that looks good. Got some more fiber in it. Right. <laughs> Fiber's good, right? Nature's flax seed. <laughs> Legitimate stick. Didn't fit in your bowl? No. <laughs> no. All right, well, let's finish up the mud pies. We can go to the next place, okay? Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Is this a lot of fun for you? All right, what'd you find over here, buddy? I got a rope swing. I don't know how to stand on it. Rope swing? Let her up. I'm just, just going to hold on to it. That's fine. How are you going to do? Boom. Right, give her a go. All right, ready? Let me move back a little bit. No, me. All right. Hopefully this holds my weight. Ready? Yep. Here we go. So you gotta try to land in a circle. All right, the boys are going to do a challenge called Don't Drop the Ball. I gotta make him go on the way. He already dropped it. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna start over, but you take a video of two team members doing a snowball toss. Make a snowball and toss it to the other person. After catching it, both team members take a step backwards and toss again. Keep going to see how far apart you can get before that snowball is dropped. Now let me get the video up. Ready, set, toss. All right. No. Nope. Nope. Okay, now toss. Throw it to Colton. There okay. you go. There you go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> There's our snowball. Oh, go for a hike around Rice Creek Chain of Lakes Park Reserve. That's all of this. Yeah. And take a picture of a beautiful park view. And that sunset is beautiful. Right. Check this out, guys. All right. Sunset through the trees. Oh. How many points is that? We are at 2,700 points. We are tied for third. Nice. All right. We got one more stop to make. Let's get on the road, guys. All right. So we are going to go check in at the golf course. Yeah. Get some points there. This is the road. Not too shabby of a way to end a fun scavenger hunt. No doubt, right? Sun's going down, coming through the trees. Yep. Seen some swans and bald eagle. And yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right. All right, so we are at the golf course. Sh no. Shamani. Shamani golf Shamani. course. Shamani. So we'll check in here, and that'll get us another 100 points. Yes. Yeah. No. No. Maybe. Maybe. Now we're like... 200. 200 points, sweet. We're like car scavenger hunting now, but... Yeah, because the gate's closed. Yeah, the so gate's closed behind us, yeah. check in here. Yep. Go ahead and submit that over. Gate was closed. Yeah. 
So this is a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's pretty complex. And the cool thing about it is you can make it what you want. You know, I mean, you can go through ahead of time and, you know, this is the first time we use the app, mm -hmm. but you can go through ahead of time and pick out what you want to do, what you don't want to do, uh, what fits your family, or if you're just a couple or an individual, you can kind of ta tailor the, the scavenger hunt to you. Right. And they also have it where it's like a wide range of dates. Yeah. So this one, I think they're running it through March 21st. So we can come back and do stuff that we didn't get done because there's right. a whole nother, there's a few that we weren't able to get to. Yeah. And there's a couple other <laughs> spots and sections and, and all right. that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we'll come back and get a few done. We're going to do the Instagram mission where yep. we post. Um, there's a few questions we just could not figure out. Yeah. Yeah. We tried Googling some of them. So we'll have to, I don't know, dig around and talk to some people in the yeah. area and see if they know anything. But yeah. But so that was a lot of fun. That was fun. Yeah. That was a good time. Yeah. So this is uh, something that we look forward to doing more often and, uh, you know, just another way to get outdoors and, and enjoy the, the, the woods and right, there we 5, are. 5,000 points. Yeah. Is it? Tired X Outdoors crew there. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, third place right now. Yeah. So. Cool. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap up this episode. Uh, go and feed the, the hungry monsters in the back seat and ourselves because we're hungry and uh all right so yeah we'll wrap this up make sure before you guys go hit that subscribe button down in the corner and uh like the videos share the videos yeah right down there and uh head over to instagram check us out there we'll be posting our our uh mission post for this this uh scavenger hunt on there so hit us up and check that out and uh support the channel pick up some stickers shirts that's www.tiredaxeoutdoors.com and uh all right until next time you guys stay safe we will see you later